Hello everybody, I'm Jason Burnt with Macomb Township Government Access and this is your Macomb Township News. We want to remind everybody that there is a big primary election coming up on Tuesday, August 4th. A decision for our three full-time elected positions of supervisor, clerk, and treasurer here in Macomb Township will be decided in this election. If you need any information, you can contact the Macomb Township Clerk's Office. Everything can be found on the website at www.macomb-mi.gov elections. You can find your voting precinct as well as important links to election information. To contact the clerk's office by phone, call 586-992-0710, extension 3. So don't forget to get out and vote on Tuesday, August 4th. The new Public Safety Center has resumed construction and is well on its way to completion. Fire Chief Robert Phillips gave us an update on the progress. We've got uh, all the trades are back to work. Uh, we've got uh, progress uh, on uh, the two remaining buildings, the sheriff's garage, the two-story administration portion. Uh, the HVAC is going in on the uh, administration portion. Uh, the electrical underground, uh, electrical and plumbing is going in. Um, everything is continuing to move along. We've got uh, quite a bit of concrete that's been poured. Uh, the last two weeks and will continue over the next uh, four to six weeks uh, at a steady pace with concrete uh, inside the building, outside. Uh, so everything is uh, once again back on track and moving along. But due to the shutdown, uh, everything has been pushed back about two and a half months. So right now we're looking uh, early January of 2021 uh, where it will be complete and we'll be moving in. Other new construction you may have seen is the new library being built on Broughton near Town Hall. This project is scheduled to be completed by the summer of 2021. This week we started steel, so that is uh, great. The, uh, the concrete masonry unit walls that our people would refer to as cinder block walls are about two thirds complete. Uh, and then shortly the brick veneer, which is the final exterior finish that people will see in a couple of weeks will begin. So uh, it's taking shape. We're looking at uh, towards the end of next summer to open, which we actually think might work out for the best that people we hope will be able to socially gather in big gatherings. We want the grand opening of this to be very exciting for the community. We want a lot of families and everybody to turn out. It's going to be their library, so we want it to be a really big day. I'm extremely excited about this one and I uh, think it's going to be a landmark for the community for generations to come. This is, this is a building that uh, will stand the test of time, I fully believe. The library also has some great virtual events coming up online. We have a lot of programs going on this summer. On July 30th, we have a really fun event for families. Uh, if you have children ages 10 and up, we're inviting them and their parents to come and learn about telescopes and planets in an online Zoom meeting. So it's going to be a really great opportunity for children to learn more about planets and stars and um, have somebody from the Warren Astronomical Society come and talk about that. So it'll be a really great opportunity in the evening if you want to sign up on our website. We also have a really great opportunity for people to learn more about the Saunders Confectioner company on August 5th. That'll also be a Zoom meeting online. It's a Detroit original, so it's kind of nice to learn a little bit more about that organization and see how it's sort of grown over the years and become a Detroit classic. So you can register for all of those things on our website, cmpl.org. There is currently road work construction along 21 Mile Road with improvements that stretch all the way to Shelby Township. Along with these updates, there are more projects in the works. There are actually two different projects that are going on in 21 Mile Road, both the Department of Roads uh, controlled. Um, one is the repaving, recapping basically of uh, 21 Mile between Garfield and Shaner into Shelby Township. Um, that kicked off uh, about probably a month ago or so. Uh, and then more recently, uh, the county has been working on repaving or widening uh, the section of 21 Mile Road west of Card Road for about a half a mile. I think it goes to Legrand, which is the entrance to the manufactured housing development on the south side. So the idea there is to provide for um, left turns both into the residential developments as well in, into the Kroger Center, especially where the gas station is. Um, that, that has been an issue for many residents for, for quite some time. So um, the county and the township have partnered to get that, that section of road widened. Recently, I think it was in June, the Township Board approved a cost sharing agreement for the widening of the next section of 23 Mile Road, uh, which is the section between Card Road and North Avenue. Um, according to what we're hearing from the county, uh, that should be going out to bid sometime yet this year. 
Um, and then under construction, I'm assuming sometime in the fall or over the winter uh, for that section. And then they'll work their way west towards Romeo Plank with future phases of that, that road project. And finally, if you're looking to get rid of those toxic materials you cannot throw away in your everyday trash, GFL will hold their annual Household Hazardous Waste Drop-Off Day on Saturday, August 29th in the Town Hall parking lot. Residents can drive up and GFL employees will help you unload your vehicle without you getting out of your car. You can visit ergenvironmental.com to get more information in regards to the materials that are accepted for disposal. So mark your calendars for Saturday, August 29th. Remember, the most up-to-date information for everything that pertains to Macomb Township can be found on the website, www.macomb-mi.gov. This has been your Macomb Township News.